Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Skip Bayless stern review of Tom Brady's broadcasting in 49 airs, Cardinals. Skip Bayless has openly expressed his disapproval of Tom Brady's performance in the broadcasting booth. During Brady's fifth game as an announcer for Fox Sports, where he teamed up with Kevin Burkhart to cover the San Francisco 49ers matchup against the Arizona Cardinals, he quickly created a viral moment. With 13 minutes remaining in the first quarter, Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray executed a fake handoff and dashed past 49ers defenders for an impressive 50-yard touchdown run. Brady couldn't contain his enthusiasm, exclaiming oh, multiple times as the play unfolded. As the weeks go by, Brady seems to gain more confidence in his new role, but Bayless has not been impressed with his commentary. The 72-year-old took to social media to harshly label the former New England Patriot as Captain Obvious. I've been listening to 49 Airs Cardinals commentary by Captain Obvious, who just talks and talks more and more obvious. I've been listening to 49 Airs Cardinals commentary by Captain Obvious, who just talks and talks more and more obvious, Bayless said in a tweet in X, formerly Twitter. This isn't the first time Bayless has criticized Brady. Last month, the former Fox employee claimed that Brady lacks the qualities needed to be a successful NFL announcer. Analyzing games on the fly on live network television, Tom so far is just another sixth-round draft pick. And I am not sure you'll get a whole lot better. So Sunday, I listened to Brady for a full game, his second as a broadcaster. Then I listened to Tony Romo for a full game I was stunned at how much more X and O insight and enlightenment Tony Romo provided instantaneously than Captain Obvious Brady did, the former Fox Sports analyst said on The Skip Bayless Show. Bayless also offered his perspective, drawing from years of experience collaborating with former star athletes in broadcasting. This is something I'd say I have a pretty good feel for because over the last, what, 20 years, I've worked with hundreds of ex-star athletes on live national television testing their split-second ability to talk the game they played at such a high level. You'd be shocked at how many just can't. They just played, Bayless continued. It's possible that Tom Brady, the most accurate passer I ever saw, played more with feel and instincts that are extremely difficult to verbalize and explain on the fly. 49ers need to be proactive, not reactive after injuries and Cardinals loss. The San Francisco 49ers are 2-3 after a heartbreaking loss to the Arizona Cardinals, but the team's injuries are more concerning than the loss. There's no doubt that the 49ers have had bad luck this year due to injuries, but they haven't made any significant moves to address their issues. Safeties Talanoa Hufanga, wrist, and G.I.R. Brown, ankle, both suffered injuries, as did kicker Jake Moody. Due to Moody's ankle injury, more on that below, the team was handicapped regarding field goal attempts. If it wasn't clear already, San Francisco isn't just having an injury crisis. The Niners are going to need several reinforcements across the roster, now including at kicker. While the team and head coach Kyle Shanahan have tried to power through with their practice squad, falling below .500 means there is certainly more urgency as they prepare for the final 12 games of the season. San Francisco is now level with the Cardinals at 2-3 and one game back of the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks taking a shocking loss to the New York Giants in Week 5 helped out the 49ers, but they cannot rely on their divisional opponents losing games. If they want to keep their playoff chances alive, they have to find new blood to cover their bases as a brutal portion of the schedule looms. Over the next six weeks, the 49ers are going to be playing the Seahawks twice, Week 6 and 11. They will also face the Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys and Tampa Bay Buccaneers in between those games, which is then followed by a Sunday night football clash against the Buffalo Bills. The Chiefs, Buccaneers, and Cowboys are all counting on the playoffs this season, while the Seahawks are now in the NFC West driver's seat. If San Francisco wants to compete for a division title, they will need to pick up a victory in the majority of these games. 
however, they're likely not going to have several key players in that run. Besides RB Christian McCaffrey and DL Javon Hargrave being out, they have other names like Demetrius Flanagan Fowles and Yetter Gross Mottos also missing time. It's hard to fault the team too much for the injuries, but their playoff chances could be dashed quickly if they don't find a way through this stretch. With a 23-13 lead, San Francisco drove into the red zone midway through the third quarter. A touchdown would have put the game out of reach for the Cardinals, but everything that could go wrong, did. After a false start from W.R. Joe on Jennings, Arizona then sacked QB Brock Purdy to set up a fourth and 23. The field goal attempt would have been around 42 yards, which would have been easy work for Moody. But with P. Mitch Wisnowski subbing in, San Francisco did not feel comfortable kicking the field goal. They did not convert the long fourth down, which was then followed up by a Cardinals touchdown drive. Had the 49ers had successfully kicked a field goal, Arizona's go-ahead drive later in the fourth quarter would have had to end with a touchdown rather than a field goal. 49ers Jake Moody provides important injury update after hurting ankle versus Cardinals. On Sunday afternoon, San Francisco 49ers kicker Jake Moody, who was seen wearing a walking boot after the game against the Arizona Cardinals, provided an update on his right ankle injury. The injury occurred during the Week 5 game, adding to the team's woes as they suffered another narrow defeat, losing 24-23 after relinquishing a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. It rolled underneath me, spun a little farther than it should. Nothing's broken thankfully. Moody said, describing the incident that led to his injury. He also mentioned that he would undergo an MRI to assess the severity of the injury, which will provide clearer insights into his recovery timeline and availability for upcoming games. Jake Moody, in a walking boot on his right foot post-game, said he will get an MRI to determine severity of right ankle injury. It rolled underneath me, spun a little farther than it should. Nothing's broken thankfully. The loss to the Cardinals marked a recurring issue for the 49ers, who have now squandered substantial leads in consecutive games. Just last week, the team experienced a similar collapse against the Los Angeles Rams, where they failed to secure a win despite leading comfortably in the final quarter. The pattern of losing grip on the game late has sparked concern and frustration among fans and the coaching staff alike. Reflecting on the recent performances, 49ers head coach Kyle Shanahan expressed his disappointment and pointed to turnovers as a critical factor in the team's inability to close out games. I think we had a 13-point lead and a 14-point lead in the other. By no means should we be able to give that away, Shanahan stated, emphasizing the impact of turnovers on the game's outcome. Always will come back to turnovers, in my opinion. There are other things you can do to overcome them. Coach Shanahan also highlighted the importance of maintaining control over the ball, a lesson that was evident in the game's dynamics. Talked about last night how we thought a key to this game would be turnovers, and that's exactly what the first half was, he explained. Gave us a huge advantage and then it flipped in the second half and we need to do that stuff to win. As the 49ers regroup and address these late-game collapses, the injury to Moody is another challenge they will have to navigate. The team's ability to secure games and manage the clock effectively in the final quarters will be crucial as they look to bounce back from these setbacks and improve their standing this season. For now, the focus will be on Moody's recovery, as his condition will impact the special team's setup. The 49ers will likely prepare for the possibility of being without their kicker for an uncertain period, depending on the results of the upcoming MRI. As the season progresses, managing injuries and correcting strategic errors will be vital for the 49ers as they aim to stabilize their performances and finish games strongly. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jake Moody? Leave your opinion in the comments.